Workspace appearance allows you to change the look and feel of your desktop. There are four options available here. The first option is Windows decorations. Here you can change how your windows look like. As you can see there are so many themes pre-installed and if you need you can always download and install new themes. You can also choose what kind of cursor you want to use. The third option is desktop themes. As you can see, there are so many beautiful themes available. The, I just changed the theme of my desktop as you can see now. And if these themes are not enough, you can always grab new themes from the internet. The fourth option is splash screen. This is the screen which you see when your KDE boots up and you can very easily change and configure this screen as well. KDE is all about your own style, your own persona, your own desktop. KDE 4.10 comes with a lot of neat animations and effects. These may not add any new functionality or feature to your desktop, but they do make your desktop look extremely beautiful. And sometimes that does matter. KDE 4.10 comes with a brand new locker. This is the screen which you see when your PC is locked. The first option is simple locker. You'll see this beautiful animated screen when your system is locked. The second option is widgets. You can configure which widgets will appear when your screen is locked. So when your computer is locked, you will still be able to use calendar, clock, you can leave notes for your friends. With KD4.10, you can once again change the icon size. Just right click on any icon and you can choose the size that you want. KD 4.10 you can now configure where you want to show your menus. Just go to application appearance and fine tune it. By default the menus appear in windows but you can choose the title bar button. What it will do is it will replace all the menus and embed them in the title bar button. So you will be able to access all your menu items from just one button. You can also set it to top screen menu bar. What it does, it, it removes the menu entries from the individual windows and the menus appear on the top of the screen.
KDE 4.10 brings better Android support. When you connect your Android device to your KDE PC, it pops up in Dolphin and you can very easily transfer data between your Android device and your PC. As you can see, I'm trying to copy some images from my PC to my Android phone, which is Nexus 4 in this case. It is extremely easy to find data in KDE 4.10. All you need to do is you have to tag the files properly. As you can see, I'm tagging some images of Richard Stallman. So this is an image when he was in India and he is working outside. So I'm tagging this image as Richard Stallman, India, working. Now, if you want to find this image in a regular scenario, you'll have to go through all those files and folders to find the image where Richard Stallman was in India and he was working. But if I tag them properly, it will be very, very easy for me find these images. As you can see I am tagging other images as well. Once all these images are tagged, you can go to the Nipomuk search setting option and you can configure the folder which you want to be indexed. Once everything is done, when you run a search query in the search box, you'll find the appropriate results. Let's search for Richard Stallman, Brussels, and here is the result. Now let's run a query for Richard Stallman with OwnCloud founder Frank and here is the result. So these are some of the reasons why I use and I recommend KDE. If you have not used KDE yet, I think you should give it a try.